It is that time of year again. Time to grab the kids, hop in the car, and head to your local tree farm. Well, here in Georgia, you can find a number of tree farms just by picking up one of these, the Georgia Farm Bureau's Certified Farm Markets member listing. Recently, I visited one such member in Henry County who's been a staple in the Christmas tree industry for well over three decades. Yule Forest Highway 155 in Stockbridge, Georgia. Wouldn't want to run out of fuel. No. <laughs> that, would be, that would be cool. <laughs> On a dreary, rainy day in Henry County, it's not uncommon to find Alan Grant smiling and rejoicing about the rain. After all, for a Christmas tree farmer, lots of rain means lots of growth. Absolutely. The rain is wonderful for us. The trees are really hydrated now. Uh, I actually had a, a field of trees that I had to trim an extra time this year because we've had a lot of rain here late in the fall. I got into the Christmas tree business because, uh, quite frankly, I wanted to do something that was a little bit lighthearted. Uh, Christmas tree, selling Christmas trees to families when they come out to the farm and, and cut their own tree and ride the hay ride and do all the activities out here. It's just a fun time and we're blessed to be able to make a living with it. Along with the Christmas tree season comes the debate real tree or artificial tree. As recently as 2013, a survey by the American Christmas Tree Association showed an increase in households buying real trees. Still, the survey showed 80% of Americans who display a Christmas tree prefer an artificial one. And hey, I'll be honest, my family is among that group. For years, we have used an artificial tree, and every year without fail, I complain about it. Head down to the basement, rummage through the storage closet, grab the tree, take it upstairs, put the thing up, holidays are over, disassemble it, take it back downstairs, and shove it in the storage closet until next year. Why do we do it, people? Why? Most people buy an artificial tree for convenience. Uh, one of the things that we do here at Yule Forest is we make it really easy. Uh, you can come to the farm and you actually only have to pick out your tree. If you don't want to cut it, I have attendants that will cut the tree for you. And we have very inexpensive tree stands that we can put a stand on your tree in about 30 seconds and it's perfectly straight and it holds two gallons of water and you can use the stand over and over each year and we will do all the work. And uh, that's what people don't like about real trees is that they seem to be a hassle. But we take all of that out and while you're out here with your family, you can have a cup of hot cider and listen to the Christmas music and it's actually an outing for your family and it's free and uh, you're you know it's a holiday tradition is what it is. But according to Grant before you even think about buying a real tree it's important to know your limitations. He says the biggest misconception people have about a Christmas tree the bigger the better. Big trees are gorgeous except when you get a 10 or 12 foot tree you may only have an 8 foot ceiling. So the most popular tree is still a seven to eight foot tree because everybody has usually an eight foot ceiling. Uh, so that's the first thing. And the next thing is, is to just look at the overall beauty of the tree, uh, its color, its shape, how full it is. And uh, there's several varieties of trees and it's really just personal taste, whether you want a Virginia pine, a Leland cypress, or a Burke Eye cedar, or a Carolina sapphire, or you know, one of those varieties. They all have a little bit different characteristics, uh, a little bit different aroma, uh, and so it really is just personal taste. And we try and provide you know, several different varieties and a big selection in the field. There are thousands to look at in the field. 